Hello everyone and welcome to Catherine's Creatures and this is episode 103 and this is a series where I get to talk a little bit about and touch base upon various mythological creatures, beasts, beings, and the like pulled from lore worldwide and I like to always preface by saying that I am not a linguist if I mispronounce anything along the way I apologize in advance I do try my best. Now with that said and because it is kind of in and around the holiday season and uh, that comes to mind, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Christmas elf versus some of the other more high elf-like styles pulled from lore and modern fantasy. Um, the Christmas elf is very distinct in many ways, and these are a grouping of creatures that are humanoid. They're usually, they come from a variety of English-speaking countries. And they're these petite little creatures that live with Santa Claus up in the North Pole. And typically the elf is dressed in kind of the colors of the season. So red and or green coloring. They're often drawn with large pointed, pointed ears and typically wearing also a pointed hat. And their purpose is to assist in Santa Claus's needs. So they help build the toys for the little children, take care of the reindeer, among other things. And um, the this idea of the Christmas elf, again, is drastically different from some of the other elves that you find in other mythological cultures and lore. And um, this is because they're relatively new in the sense that one of the first notable times that they were introduced was in 1856. Um, it was, they were written in a story called, uh, I think it was the uh, Christmas Elves Ball, I think. Um, it was an unpublished work by Louisa May Alcott. And, um, but it was the first time uh, someone was writing about the fact that Santa was assisted with small elves when it comes to building his toys for the holidays for the children. And um, obviously the lore that preceded them comes from um, Norse tradition because elf comes from the word alfar, which was the old Norse word for elves. And um, they were also called at that time as well as huldu folk, um, so the hidden folk. And um, the idea of the Norse elf probably was this kind of spliced information. I know I keep stepping back, 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 but a splicing of various um, cultural clash ideas from Scandinavian countries, as well as some of the Celtic cultures. So the ideas of fairies and water, um, nature spirits kind of collided um, with these uh, new and merging ideas and these evolution of lore and came out with the Alphar from Norse, which is the forefather of all elves, um, even down to the high elves from Tolkien, but uh, Christmas elves as well, because that's where the namesake comes from. But back to the Christmas elves, since that was a little bit of a history lesson and understanding that variety of European cultures have a lot of these kind of fae-like, elf-like creatures, including Germany's kobolds that um, all potentially have uh, aided in some way of the development of our idea of the modern day Christmas elf. Elf on the shelf. Anywho, um, so again, the first time they were written about was in that book back in 1856. Uh, um, there was the first time they actually became really popularized was also around that time, a little later, I think it was um, 1873, that there was a popular book um, publication that came out uh, multiple times a year called uh, Gaudi's Ladies Book. And in that book was um, the idea of the Christmas elf became super popular because the front cover illustration for one Christmas season was of these little diminutive creatures assisting Santa. And that book at the time, the Gaudi's Ladies Book, was very influential for a variety of Christmas traditions of that time and even the ones that have kind of lasted through the time itself and are still utilized today comes from that particular book. So the fact that that book's image of these small little people um, was so impactful to the way we view Santa and his workshop that it stuck around. 
The other thing of note that was, again, around that era was in 1823, uh, the famous book, A Night Before Christmas, came out. And, of course, that one, there is a line in that particular children's book that talks about how Santa is a jolly old elf as well. And so, again, it was all around um, that period where that uh, p um, relationship between Santa Claus or, or St. Nick and these little elves assistants came about. So if you have any questions about this or anything else, please post them in the comments below or message me on any of my social media. And until next time, everyone, school.